to my channel. So basically in today's video we are doing another Jeffree Star tutorial and today's lip, as you should see below, is the beautiful Nathan. Now when I saw this lip I was like, hmm, I don't actually think it's going to suit me. This is one of my favourite Jeffree Star lips, like it's so pretty, it's like such a nice peachy nude. I absolutely love it and it looks really good on spell on pale skin tones. Oh my god, that was a mouthful. Um, if you're new here, I am literally Lewis and uh, let me give you a fun fact. Um, oh, my boyfriend won tickets to the show, the Royal Adelaide show, which is like um, a show that comes annually and it's like here for two weeks and there's like all thrill rides and stuff and if you know me, thrill rides are my absolute favourite thing. Like, I'm going to be filming a vlog there um, so you can see the thrill rides that are there. But yeah, like I can't wait. I'm so excited. He won show tickets, so we're going. Um, we're a little bit poor at the moment, so we won't be able to spend a lot of money, but I, I just can't wait. Like, I'm so excited. I love the show so much. But yeah, basically in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial dedicated to Nathan from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love Jeffree Star so much. He's currently in Melbourne right now, meeting and greeting people, and I'm over here in Adelaide, like, what about us? What about Perth? Australia isn't just Sydney, Gold Coast and Brisbane. There's a lot more. So basically today's inspiration is Jay Kisser. I absolutely love her. She's a YouTuber as well. She does like really colourful looks and the inspiration picture is this. Sis, yes. I love, I saw it and I was like, oh my god, I have to do that with Nathan. I know she's wearing like an orange lip, like yummy would probably go really well with it, or coral fixation. But I really wanted to do like a peachy nude. I think that would look so cool um, with such a vibrant eye, eye shadow colour. I look, I look. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love Jay Kiss. I've been binge watching the hell out of her lately. And I've recently discovered that we have the same birthday, 2nd of November. She has a boyfriend from the UK that's blonde and she loves colourful eyeshadow looks, which is just my favourite. I love I, If you come to my channel for a neutral look with a neutral eyeshadow palette, you've come to the wrong channel. Like, that's not me, guys. That's not me. Like, I have Blood Sugar, the Zulu palette by Juvius. Like, I love colours. I love colourful looks. I ain't, I ain't no boring neutral eye girl. I am a colourful girl. That's me, sis. If you want to see this Nathan Jeffree Star lipstick tutorial, then just keep on watching, guys. Right, so I'm back with my base on, and I have one, two, three, four, five palettes that I'm going to be using, because they're all really unique colours, and I thought I'd have them, but I obviously don't. Well, I do, but they're all in, like, different palettes. So I'm going to be grabbing the green from this palette. I'm going to be grabbing the yellow from Thirsty. I'm going to be grabbing the blue from the Slush palette, purple from the Zulu palette, and then the red from Blood Sugar. <sighs> but yeah, Jake Yourself doesn't actually have a tutorial up on how to do this look, so I thought, let's give it a go, let's see how we go, and yeah, you guys can be the judge of how well I do. <laughs> So first off, I'm going to grab the Take Me To Brazil BH Cosmetics palette and I'm first going to go into this green up here and then I'm going to double into this green down here afterwards. Oh, oh. I'm going to grab a precise blending brush and then start with that first green shade that I pointed to and just focus that right in the crease. Um, hello? Maybe not double this. Oh, there we go. I'm thinking I'm going to have to build up this shade quite a bit. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I'm full on like going ham in this. Maybe it just needs to be broken through, but um, that's okay. It's working out. But there was like nothing there when I first started. But yeah, I'm just focusing that right in the crease. 
and it only go above the crease because that is where the yellow is going to go. I might zoom you guys in a little bit. If so yeah, I'm just focusing that right in the crease and then I'm going to put the yellow above like she's done. Yeah. Right, and then I'm going to go in with this green here. And let's see. Oh, that looks like a lot more pigmented. And I'm just going to deepen up the crease even more. Oh wow, that's a lot more pigmented and better. That other green just isn't that pigmented. Which is a shame, because it's a really nice green. But I know that greens are hard to make, so that's okay. Right, I'm gonna grab a big fluffy blending brush. God, I can't talk. And grab the shade Quench from the Thirsty palette. And I know this is gonna be pigmented, so I'm not gonna get a lot. And I'm just gonna slowly work that in above the green. I'm gonna take it a bit further out more than she did. Because I really love this yellow shade. There we go, that's what that looks like. I'm just going to go back into that green shade that I was using just before from the Take Me To Brazil palette and I'm going to go into that darker green and then just pop a little bit more of that in the crease to bring it back because we lost it a little bit. There we go. Right. Now we've got those colours laid down, I'm going to go into the crease shade. So in the crease she has a really dark blue, and I think the only dark blue I have that looks close to the one that she has is this one from the Slush palette um, called Glow Raspberry, which is this one right here. This would be better, but it's a shimmer shade and I don't want to put a shimmer shade on the lid. Um, I think that's the only dark blue I have. So I'm going to grab the Blue Raspberry shade from the Slush palette. Grab that on my packer brush, top of the excess, and then slowly work it in on the inner and outer portion of my eye. Yeah, actually, that's a really nice shade. And it's buildable, which I love. And then the same on the other part, inner part, inner, inner part, can't talk. Right, and I think next I will go in with the red and then I'll work the purple in because there's purple in between the blue and the red. I can see only just. Um, and I'm going to work that in after I've laid down the red. Oh, so many palettes I'm using. <laughs> so I'm getting the Blood Sugar palette and I'm going to go in with Prick, which is my favourite shade, one of my favourite shades actually. I would say my favourite shade from this is Sweetener, such a pretty shade, um, but yeah my next shade would be Prick, I love Prick. So I'm going to grab that on the same brush that I was just using, just using my colour switch to get that colour off, and then packing that on, and then going in the inner portion of my eyeball, yep, 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 yep. Oh my god that's so pretty. You're kidding. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that is so pretty. Jake Yusser, I love you. I'm gonna grab a little brush and go in with the last palette I'm gonna be using, and that is the Zulu by Julia's Place. It's got this dark purple, which is going to be perfect to put in between these two, I hope. I'm going to go in with my pencil brush, see how that goes. I know this is pigmented, so I'm not going to dig in too much. And then I'm just going to slowly work that purple in. 
right next to the red and blending it into the blue. Just slightly though. You don't want to pack it on and then that'd be too much. And I can always go in with the red after, but yeah. Well, wow, that's pigmented. I'm going to go back in with the red because I feel like I put too much purple in. But that's okay. It's easily fixed. And just pop that over again. And then I'm going to grab um, just a little mini blending brush. And I'm just going to. Um, Fix it up a little. Right, that is the top of the eye done. I'll give you a little zoom in so you can see. So there is a close up of the eye. I think I might work some more green into there because we've lost that a little bit while we're doing the blue shadows. Um, right, so I'm just going to go back to the take me to the Brazil palette and work that green in a little bit more because I think we lost it. And just buff that in the crease. Next, I'm going to do what I did on the eyeball on the lower lash. Lower. I'm going to zoom you guys in and just do what I did on the lower eyeball on. No, oh my god, I can't talk. I'm just going to. Just going to. So I'm going to get in the shade Blue Raspberry again and then pop that on the outer and inner portion of my eye. Now in this picture it really looks like she packs on the red a lot bigger than she does on the eye so I'm going to do that too because I love red. And then I'm going to grab the shade Brick from Blood Sugar and pop that in the middle. thinking she probably just like laid down this red and it made purple anyway she didn't actually use a purple shade that's probably what happened but oh, I had a purple anyway <laughs> right and it looks like in the photo um Jake Issa has rang this green a little bit in the, in the yellow a little bit in so that is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna grab the green and take me to Brazil palette and work that a little bit in to the cream. My eyelash is getting in the way. And then I'm going to do the same with yellow and just blend that to on the outside. That shade quench and I'm just gonna lightly follow that green into the it doesn't look like she has an inner corner highlight in the in her tutorial in her look like it just doesn't look like there's anything there but I'm going to have some in corner highlight because I love that shape. Right, so that is what the eye looks like close up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this eye on right now. So that is the other eye complete. I absolutely am so obsessed with this look. It is so pretty. Right, let's go a little bit out. <laughs> out, yep. Right, so Jake is said doesn't actually have any inner corner highlight and I was just like, mm, I need to do inner corner highlight because um, highlighting is my favourite step, as you guys all know. And I also forgot in the mantra video. I don't know how the hell I forgot highlight, but I did. But anyway, we are going in with Jeffree Star's Nefri. I absolutely love this shade. It is like a lavender purple. And I think it goes so well with this look. 
So I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. And I don't think I'm going to use that as eye highlight. I think I'll use glucose as eye highlight, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So yes, yeah, so I'm just going to grab Nefri on a pencil brush and pop that in the inner corners. And I'm going to spray because I want a blinding highlight. Is that all highlight actually? <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes. Oh my god, that goes so well with this look. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Right, and I'm just going to go in with the shade Glucose, which is this little, 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 little. Right, and I'm just going to go in with the shade Glucose, which is this white shade in the blood sugar palette. And I'm just going to dust that under my eyebrow for eyebrow highlight. And then I am going to use some blush, well I'm not using a blush, but I'm using the shade um, Taste Buds from Jeffree Star's Thirsty Palette and I'm going to put some blush on. Like It looks blue, but hopefully it doesn't come out blue. You know, by fine. It's because I did, my last time I used this brush, brush was a zombie look and I was blue, so yeah. Just gonna grab taste buds and and dust that across the cheeks. Oh that is so pretty. I'm not usually a blush kind of gal but that is so pretty. Oh, yes. Right. And then next, I'm going to get some setting spray. I'm sorry, Jake Yessa, I have the Max setting spray. I don't have the one that you use. And I'm just going to spritz my face. I doubt she's even watching this. If you are, I love you, Jake Yessa. <laughs> then I'm going to grab my highlighting brush, my other one. And dip into the free and use that on my cheeks. Oh my god. You're kidding. Wow. Then I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and blend that in a little bit. Right, then I'm just going to grab some and put some on my nose. And on the cupid's bow. Right, so that is the highlight complete, yes. Oh, Nefri is so pretty. And then the final step is Nathan on my lips. I will. Oh, yes. Right guys, and that is the finished look! Oh my god! Look at Nefri. Oh my god. Love her. No, Nathan. Not Nefri. Both of them. Nefri, Nathan. <laughs> so yeah, that is the finished look. Here is a little closer. I'll zoom in on the eyeballs. So this is what the eyeball situation is. Oh, look at that inner corner highlight, Nefri. You're kidding me. I absolutely love this look. Oh my god. And there's the lips. And I'm going to zoom out. Put in. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely am obsessed with this look. It's so pretty. 
Um, I love Jay Tessa and I will continue to binge watch all her videos. I haven't watched all of them yet, but I'm sure I will get around to watching every single one soon. <laughs> um, if you're new here, I would literally love if you would subscribe. I would literally love if you give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below. What lipstick would you like to see me do next? I've done Queen B. I've done Equality. I've done Now Nathan. What do you want to see me do? I have the Equality bundle. I have quite a few sh shades. And yeah. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy, guys. Oh, I haven't said subscribe, did I? Did I say subscribe? Subscribe. Right, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> that is it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Back from the dead.